What's the crack lads? Welcome to the channel. We're going to be talking a little bit of UFL today. A lot of people have been asking me about this. Obviously, I'm primarily an eFootball content creator, but we do keep an eye on EAFC. We do keep an eye on upcoming projects and upcoming football games. And I've always said, I'm going to give every single video game a try. If it's something that interests me, I'm going to give it a go, give it a fair go, and not, you know, hate on it or praise it too much, and just literally play it, make up my mind, and if it's fun, we'll continue to play it. I mean, if UFL bangs, we will definitely play it, right? So I've heard and talked to a few people that have actually played this game in closed beta, but now we're going to be getting a chance to play it ourselves. So I'm hoping to stream this open beta, which is a free-to-play football game from UFL or from Strikers, as you see here, right? It's going to be a two-day event. It's going to be starting on Friday, and it's going to run Friday, Saturday, into Sunday, depending on your time difference, right? But it's going to be a two-day event. The open beta is available for PS5 and Xbox Series X. There's no news of PC versions of this game or test sessions, so that's something that if you are playing on Steam, there doesn't seem to be any. It just seems to be console-exclusive open beta at the moment, right? So I've actually had a, few, had a few people asking me how to do it and whether I'll play it or whatever. The preload size is going to be about 28 gig on PS5 and 22 gig or 21 gig on Xbox consoles. And it says that the game is still under maintenance at the moment, but you can actually preload this, right? So I'm going to show you here before we get into it. You can actually preload this and this is how you do it. I mean, this is very, very simple, obviously. But if you go to the PlayStation Store, you go to search and you literally just search for UFL. Or even if you don't search for UFL, it'll pop up here when you go into the store anyway, right? So if you just go into the store here um, and just go to search without searching anything, it'll pop up here as one of the, you know, recently announced things. When it's on here, you need to go to the three buttons here and go to click open beta. And then you can download that. And that will obviously set it in motion that once the servers go live for the open beta, this will download now. You can see here it's added to downloads. You can preload it so that when the servers go live, you are ready to rock and roll. Okay, so that is basically it. Now, we've had before a couple of things here. There's a few people with reviews here. There's some interesting reviews on this. Obviously, it's going to be a case of playing it yourself and trying it yourself and seeing 90% ratings are five star. Yeah, I mean, for me, lads, honestly, look, I will be treating this the same. Obviously, I'm going to give it a little bit of, how would you say, a little bit of leeway because anyone coming in new into the the, the video game and market or into the football game and market, um, you do have to bring, you know, a little bit of glass half full rather than glass half empty style of thinking about it, you know. Um, and if I'm prepared to overlook a lot of the, you know, flaws in eFootball and still be able to enjoy the core aspect of it, that's what I want out of UFL. If there's some certain things that I don't like or certain things that need polish, I'm going to try and, you know, really give it a fair go from the core experience of that whether it's fun, you know, that's a big thing to me. Like, I don't think that they're going the realism route. I think they're definitely going the FIFA style route. This is a, a little trailer here, and we'll get into that in a second. But it says game engine fun and footage does not represent the final product. Um, but there has been obviously a big showcase that Ronaldo is their ambassador. And it says join the open beta that you see here. I haven't really covered UFL content before. So if you guys want to see more of that, please let me know in the comments below. I mean, for me, lads, honestly, it's very, very simple, right? At this stage, if a game is fun, I will play it, even if it has flaws and all, right? The thing that keeps me going back to eFootball is, yes, the cards are rinse and repeat. Yes, the content needs a big refresh. Yes, there's nothing really to play for unless you're really, you know, starting out at the bottom or you've got every single player at the top and you've been playing for months. There's nothing in between. I've talked about all the issues of eFootball with the gameplay, with everything else, right? But UFL is going to have its issues as well. Definitely going to have teething problems, but it's the potential of what the game could become the same way that I keep going back to eFootball because I enjoy playing it. It's for no other reason. Um, you know what I mean? And I enjoy the actual, you know, 15 to 20 hours of me when I'm actually playing the game. I am streaming the game. So it's kind of a different experience than sitting at home playing a game, uh, you know, in my own kind of space. It, when you're streaming, it's kind of a different thing. You're doing content, right? So that's why I'm going to give UFL a fairly good chance. Now, we also know that EAFC are going to be releasing a free... Um, they're going to be on June 6th, which is today at the time of recording. They're going to be releasing a free Euro 2024 update. And also on top of that, Konami are going to be doing as well. They are going to be doing... Um, they are going to be doing their own version of things as well, their own version of uh, Euro content. So there's going to be probably a lot of Euro content that they drop. But let me know if you guys would be interested in watching a stream of this. I'm, I'm sure that we can stream the game. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you're interested in this. 
or let me know if it's no you've heard enough you've seen enough listen we've all heard about you know the stories of it i've talked to a few people that have actually played the closed beta and they've said not to get our hopes up that it's very 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 like a paired back arcade version of eafc but as i said man i will try and make up my mind and be very fair on it um and go from there and see and judge you know the fun factor of it try and see what they're trying to go with it um but let's see let me know if you guys be interested in that smash the like button if you would and uh let me know and i will talk to you in a little bit don't forget to subscribe as well if you want more content like this until then peace